Well, when the holidays are over, a lot of us are going to hit the gym to lose those extra pounds. But if you have a job that requires that you get your heart rate up and engage your muscles, you may think you're already set. But research says that's not the case. It's called the physical activity paradox, and it's challenging our conventional understanding of exercise and its impact on the health of workers with physically demanding jobs. At Interstate Auto Care, it's another day of keeping Metro Detroiters on the move. There's a lot of physical work between pushing cars, um, picking up tires and heavy components. The work requires lifting, pulling, stretching, and twisting. Setting hoists, working above your head, working down low. There is definitely a factor of good exercise in a job like this. But there's a twist. Exercise from physically demanding jobs like mechanics, construction workers and nurses don't necessarily equate to better health outcomes like we see from leisure activities like jogging, swimming or lifting weights. Surprisingly, it could have the opposite effect. High um, activity, occupational physical activity could actually be detrimental to your cardiovascular and even mental health. Dr. Monica Giuti Petros is an interventional cardiologist at Corwell Health. She says the problem may arise from the intensity and very nature of physical work in these jobs. Unlike a typical workout, occupational physical activity often requires long hours of repetitive, strenuous tasks. When you're exercising for leisure, you might get your heart rate up to 60 or 80 percent, but just for, for a short time, and then you could stop and take a break. And at work, your heart rate may not be as high, but it could remain elevated for 8, 10, or 12 hours a day. Just the stress of that can increase inflammation. Um, inflammation has been linked to heart disease. Work-related physical activity has also been tied to greater musculoskeletal disorders, and according to a study in the Medical journal Lancet Regional Health Europe, an increased risk of mild cognitive impairment and dementia. So what can you do if you have one of these high activity jobs? Back at Interstate Auto Care, Casey says his routine starts before he picks up his first tool. Every morning I have a series of stretches that I do um, in order to help limber up. Just like he would at the gym, he also builds in time for recovery by staggering physically demanding tasks with less stressful work. And GM Nick Nalu says use the right tool for the job. So that you can avoid using your body as a tool in any way possible is going to help. Rotating tasks with other workers can help avoid repetitive strain and also ask for help with big jobs. Other professions like nursing stress the importance of ergonomics. And consider hitting the gym even after a tiring day's work. Leisurely physical activity might offset some of the harmful effects of the occupational physical activity. Yeah, it sounds counterintuitive, right? You spent all day working hard and now go to the gym, but it, it actually may have extra health benefits for you. But how much exercise and how much it may offset the harmful work-related physical activity is still the subject of active research. Now, these studies did control for factors like income and education, so it all boils down to the role of occupational physical activity. So when your job is demanding, you may need to take extra steps to keep that potential damage from adding up. I tell you, when, when you see people in those demanding physical jobs, you think, oh, yeah, you get your workout yes. while you're working. But yes, apparently but not. That, exactly. It's That's a paradox because it, it's certainly logical to think that way, right. but research says that is not the case. Right. Great story, Keenan. Thank you.